Hi, my name is Hunan Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film, and also a proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed producer, songwriter, and the co-founder of Pomegranate Productions, the one and only Gabriel Bernbaum. For more on Gabriel, you can read more about him right below this video. But in the meantime, here is a sneak peek at the amazing talent of the one and only Gabriel. I would stand with her reflection Notice her neglecting That she was beautiful No one saw her like she saw herself Blundering into the inside just to be like Billboard's friends pointed out Would just fill her heart with doubt Yeah That's the weight of the world It's the fate of a girl Say that it's fair. Well, I was unaware, unaware. With the standard set so high, it was time to say goodbye to the old you for the lifestyle. But there was no consummation. Only deepened her frustration, her oration. So she turned to snow and the gray and lonely winter. Can you blame her? Well, good morning, Gabriel. How are you? I'm well. Thanks, Tor. Good to be here. Gabriel, you are like a renaissance man. You're an acclaimed songwriter, producer, you co-founded Pomegranate Productions, which is a music house in, in Brooklyn that provides original tunes of all genres, but I wanna get into it. I will get into it all, but Gabriel, I wanna begin from the beginning. Where were you born and when did you realize that you loved music? Um, I'm from New York City, I'm from Hell's Kitchen. So... Whereabouts? Well, I, I live in an artist building. Wait, and, uh, you live on, wait, I won't say the, wait, but is it the um, the one on 43rd, we won't say the cross streets? Did you grow up there? Yeah. Are your so, parents artists? Family, yeah, my, my dad's an editor, my mom's an actress. So there's uh, there's artistry in the family. So I was kind of just passed the torch. Um, I didn't really discover music until like middle school time, but I was really into painting and drawing and poetry before that. So picked up a guitar and then just haven't stopped. You found your bliss. Well, I don't wanna let anyone know exactly where you live, but let's just say that Gabriel lives in one of the most nationally acclaimed like a, a complexes where stars, Tony, Emmy, Oscar winners, you know, it's 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 a con. It's 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 one of the most beautiful places. I have so many friends that live there. We will not get into the place. We have, we want to talk about Gabriel. Gabriel, <laughs> in addition to being an amazing producer and songwriter, you're also a, a savvy businessman. Talk to me about the impetus for Pomegranate Productions. Yeah. So I was brought on to this feature film that uh, Mike Canzanera produced called Making the Day, and. Uh, it's just, he needed an end credit song and a couple cues throughout. And I've always been interested in producing music for film and TV, syncing it up and having it enhance what you're seeing on the screen. So I wrote this feature song. We produced it together, my partner and I. We also worked with uh, Soundcat Productions as well for that, for that one tune. But it ended up being a huge success and it was really fun. We had a great time writing for film. So we opened up Pomegranate Productions, which is located in Williamsburg. Um, and since then we've gone on to write for Netflix. We wrote for the show Sweet Tooth. Um, we have a movie called Marry Me that we got a song into coming out next year, which is Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson and Melinda. Oh, those up and comers. Yeah, yeah, that's 2022. 
And then, I love uh, those up and comers, Jennifer. I think I heard of them. Yeah, yeah, you heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, most recently, I can't really talk about. It. We have one more big one. That, Gabriel, uh, you know you've made it when you can do an interview and be like, "There's another thing, but I can't <laughs> talk about it." It's, I want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm not well, allowed. Listen, to. I want to let our audience know for more on the amazing Gabriel, you can read more about him right below this video and keep up to date on this soon to be announced project. But Gabriel, in addition to everything that you're doing with Pomegranate Productions, as a front man, in terms of what you're doing, you know, as a songwriter, I'm curious because, you know, the video that everyone saw unaware, yes, it was a few years ago. And I knew, and I told you off camera, I was like, oh, this is a guy that is keeping his cards close on some new songs. And I guess I was right. Can you give yeah. us a little sneak peek of maybe an idea of the songs of, that you'll be releasing or when you're going to be releasing them? That's a good question. Um, yeah, I, my sound has developed a little bit over the past couple of years. I, I would say it's more like current pop direction. Since opening up Pomegranate, we produced for a lot of artists. So Obasi Jackson is one of them. He's, uh, he's gonna be huge at some point. I know he is because he's great and he's very talented. Um, and uh, we've made some like hip hop tracks for him. We've really like developed our versatility in terms of production. So a lot of that has seeped into my stuff, but I'll be releasing it soon. I, I gotta get it out before 2022, it's gotta happen. Listen, Gabriel, this is what I like about you so much as an artist. You're someone who obviously began as, you know, someone who was doing the thing himself, right? Playing guitar. But the fact that like, I feel like you're a type of dude that also is very giving of his talent. So the fact that you've provided a safe space with Pomegranate Productions for all artists, producing and songwriting for other artists. I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, you feel like a little papa bear. Like you kind of see all of these things happening and you're proud. Am I crazy to think that? You're right. I love- I knew it. I love collaborating. Hey, I do. I got you. And this is why I became a director, not to make the interview about me, but you probably knew it would eventually become about me. But yeah. this is what I love also about being at 30,000 feet. And I feel that with you. I'm curious, final question. As we come out of this horrible time, what are you most optimistic about for you and what you have coming out, like to share or just generally? Uh, that's a good question. I, I'm, I always have my, I'm always grinding. So it really, it's just, I don't exactly know what's next, but I know that I'm heading in that direction, like full force. So a couple film projects, by the time I'm older, I wanna have a super long list on IMDb of just everything that I've been able to have my hands in and be a part of, because it's, it's bigger than you when you're part of like a film or a TV show. So I really enjoy that. Um, in terms of personal releases, I got a bunch of songs that we've worked really hard on over the past couple of years. Um, so it's just finding the right way to release them. Um, and then just producing for other artists, making sure that everyone gets a fair chance. I mean, this is a tough industry. So I just, uh, I wanna like help people with their path, but also like follow my own. I'm not gonna lose sight of that too, so. Well, Gabriel, you're, you're an amazing example of an artist that is using his gifts and light for not only himself, but for others, but you also are a manifester, you know? And I think what a lot of artists sometimes get stuck on is the destination and not the journey for someone so young to realize that it's the journey that matters most. But that also that doesn't surprise me because of where you grew up, you know? It was your normal, your mom, your dad, where you live. And so listen, my friend, I'm so grateful that we're now connected and I'm so grateful for your time today, Gabriel. Appreciate you. Thank you, Will. Thank Good you. Talk. And hopefully we can collaborate one day. Come in, come in. <laughs> I know you're busy with J Lo and Owen Wills. Okay. I'll, you know, give them my love. We re I, I'll give you a hint about the last thing. We rewrote oh. the I can't no. say what it is. We rewrote the theme to a very popular TV show. That's all I'll say. <laughs> You can think about it. <laughs> I'm gonna think on it. Audience is gonna think about it. And we cannot wait to hear the big announcement soon. All right. All right. Thank you, Gabriel. Got it. Thanks, Will.